Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In the last video, I have shown you how to use tree view in JavaFX. And I have shown you how you can add the root and nodes to the tree view in the last video, right? And I have also shown you how to add these icons to the tree view. Now in this video, we will see how we can add some mouse click event to these nodes, right? And I'm also going to show you how you can, uh, you know, expand these root nodes in the tree view. So for example, right now when I run the app, my root node is collapsed, right? So I need to expand it and expand it once again to go to the sub nodes, right? But for example, I want to present the user the expanded nodes, then how can I do that? So let's see how can we do that. So in my initialize method, which I've created in the last video, I have created this root. So I want this root to be expanded. So I can just uh, take this root and call the method called set expanded and make it true. Okay. And just save your code and run it once again. And now you can see our root node childs are expanded. So root node childs were node A, node B and node C. So they were expanded. But right now node A also have some child nodes. So we want to expand these also. So how we can do it, we can do in the same way. Just copy this code and paste it here. And now we want to expand the node A. So just call node A dot set expanded is equal to true and then run your code once again and now your whole tree is expanded okay now suppose i want to add a event to this tree view so that whenever i select some element i want to access the name of the node so what i can do here i can uh, just create a method public void and uh, for example i can name my method as mouse click and uh, as an argument i'm going to pass an argument called mouse event so just pass an argument called mouse event and name it and inside my method first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, create an instance of uh, tree item and then I will say this is the item object and then I will take my tree view object which is this one and just paste it here then just call get selection mode and then call get selected item okay and now you can just print the value for example you can just write sys out and then you can uh, just call this item here dot get value and this will give you the selected item name okay now one more thing we need to do here is we need to take this mouse click event and we need to connect it with our fxml file so just copy this method and open your scene builder where you have this tree view select your tree view and go to the code category here and search for uh, the event called context menu requested and paste this method there and one more place you need to paste this uh, method name is on mouse clicked here okay so just uh, you know call this method mouse click on context menu requested and on mouse clicked okay save your code and then go to your eclipse project refresh your project and run it once again now when i click on some item here it's going to print the value of the item in here right so for example i select or single click uh, node a is going to print node a for example i single click node c1 is going to print node c1 or I can just click node C and it's going to uh, print node C. So this is how the single click is working. For example, you want to print the value on double click. So when I double click here right now, it's printing two times, right? So let's add a double click 
here so you just need to add this condition here so just add a if statement and call this mouse event here and then call a method called get click count okay and we will count these click and if this mouse click count is equal to 2 which means double click then we want to uh, you know execute our code here okay so just add uh, this condition here and save your code and run it once again and now when I single click on any item it's not going to do anything but when I double click on item then it's going to print the value of the item okay so in this way you can add this mouse event to the tree view I hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye